Welcome back to part two of my mini strawboard series. Uh, today we're going to be doing one of the main parts, which is actually handling our starboard and basically when the reaction or star limit is passed, then we're actually going to add it to our starboards channel. We're going to use on raw reaction add and that's the event and we're just going to set everything up. So without further ado, hit the intro. Okay, so here I am in my Visual Studio Code, and over here you can see my SQLite table that we created in the last episode. And these are just the values for now. We I will be referencing back to it later on. And so that's yeah, I'm gonna make it easier for you guys to see though. So I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff right here. And yes, the text is a bit larger, so it's better for you guys to see. But now that we have that, we can just create a new event. So bot event, and then inside here, this can be on raw reaction add and the reason that we're using raw over here is because that has a couple of different attributes basically when we're running it like regularly such as over here right this isn't a raw like event and that's because this is filtered so this one takes more time to actually just get displayed but two it also comes in for if it was like on message it uses the cache this doesn't rely on any cache no matter whoever creates the reaction it will return this event which is what we need i mean so what we're gonna do and it takes in payload right so we're just gonna define four variables right off the bat so first is gonna be emoji which is gonna be payload dot emoji and then what we're gonna have is not playload payload and then what we're gonna have is guild which is gonna be equal to wait bot dot get underscore guild and then we can do payload dot guild underscore id then we can do channel equals channel equals and this will be await guild dot get underscore channel and then we're going to pass in payload.channel ID. And then lastly, we're going to grab the message. It's going to be message equals await channel.get underscore message. And we're going to pass in payload.message ID. Dot message underscore ID. So there we go. Those are our four starting variables. And we're going to reference back to them throughout this function. So just make sure that you keep them above. But then now that we have that, we're going to do if emoji.name. And this is where you can set whatever you want your star emoji to be. So I'm going to do just the regular star one, right? I have it in my clipboard and it's right here. You could probably search it up on Emojipedia or some website like that and grab it from there. But now what we want to do is we just want to actually create our, I guess, we want to initialize the database, right? We're going to call it. So we want to do always async with bot.db.cursor as cursor. And inside that, what we're going to do <coughs> is we're going to do cursor.execute and we're going to execute a couple of things. So here, this actually has mostly what we're going to do, but I'm just going to write it out for you guys. So we're going to do select. And the first thing we're going to get is star limit and then channel. And what we're going to do is from star setup where guild equals question mark. And then instead of having payload and stuff like that, what we can do is we can just do guild.id because we created the variable right here. And so this will grab us our data from our database that I showed earlier in the start of the video. And then over here, what I can do is I can do data equals await cursor.fetch1. Now we're going to be splitting up this data because we have two items in here, the star limit and then the channel ID. So what we're going to do to actually split it up is first we're going to check if data exists. And then if it does, we're going to do star data. That's basically what we're going to split it up into, which is going to be data zero. And then channel data, which is going to be data one. And because once again, this is a list, so then, and we have to use indexes. So the first index would be zero, the second one would be one. Now that we have that though, what we want to do is we want to go through every single reaction inside of the message because we want to like find the star reaction right here. So what we can do is we can do is for reaction in message dot reactions. And basically, right, we can access a couple of things in here. So we can do if reaction dot emoji and this can equal to the star thing. 
and now I'm just going to get rid of all this code. And so now that we have this check, what we can do is we can do another nested if statement. So if reaction.count is greater than or equal to star data. So let's say you set it to five, the limit, right? It would have to reach five to actually make it. And the reason that we do greater than or equal to is because in case like the bot was offline, and while it passed five or while it hit five, then after when it passed five, it would still work. And then now that we have that, basically what this does is if it gets to this last if statement, then like the bot essentially just knows, okay, this message has more than whatever you set. So in the star data, right? It has, it, it's eligible to make it into the starboard. And so now it will actually give it to you, right? It will put it inside the starboard. So you can do embed equals discord.embed. It's going to be a very basic embed. I'm going to explain on this in the next video. So just don't like worry about making it really like look really nice or have a lot of function or info. We can do that on the next video. But now all we want to do is literally this, right? It's super simple. And that's basically it, right? Here we have the title and the description, which is message dot content of the original message. And that's basically it. And then lastly, what we can do is await channel data dot send, and that's going to be embed equals embed. The reason that we don't do channel is because that channel is that channel is the channel where the reaction was added, not our starboard channel. That's what we grab. We grab the starboard channel from our database. I hope that makes sense. But essentially, what we want to do is we want to click that little button here. Um, click that little button here, and you will see. Uh, it has ran right so on the side here and it's bot is up and ready here i am in my discord and i can literally just do hope and you'll see that the bot is actually online so if i were to type out a small message like subscribe or uh or no cookies right then that's why you should subscribe right I'm not joking but basically right after i have that right um i can basically just start now typically you'd have the star limit set to five so just so like one person can't make it to the starboard by themselves, but just for demonstration purposes, I'll keep it as one. And so here you'll see actually that once I start it, you'll see that I got a new starboard message and subscriber no cookies. And that's actually, if I react to anything else to like another one, right? Nothing will happen because that's not our star, I guess, emoji. If I were to do the star one, then you actually see that something happens and that sends. Now, next video, we will explain on this and that's just like a demo for now. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Until next time, close to go. See ya.